Hello, you blighted ovums. Jim Sterling here, and this is 123 Slaughter Me Street. We just got the loading screen up in the corner there being funny. Uh, it says they're loading their jump scares and everything. So apparently there's going to be jump scares in here. Oh, didn't I mention? This, this is a first-person horror game on Steam. <laughs> Thought I'd try something a little bit different, you know. Break the mould, as it were. 123 Slaughter Me Street. It's a good name. It's a good name for it. Oh my god, it's Sean Pertwee. Actually, one of my favourite, possibly my favourite actor of all time, Sean Pertwee. Who calls that street Slaughter Me Street? That's just asking for trouble. So, there's some bloke on the street and they're looking, someone on the, someone fell through a glass roofing thing. I did briefly see on the store Steam page that uh, you're a fugitive criminal. Tim Denson's Foggle Friend. Duh, I'm assuming Foggle Friends. It's a Fraggle reference, I think. Like a spoof Fraggle. So, that was the beginning. You're some sort of thief who fell into a thing, and then there were off-brand Fraggles. Oh, that was, that was a fun noise that was just made. That logo reminds me of like 90s collectible things, like garbage pail things or monster in my pocket or something like that. I can imagine that being the logo on a 90s toy. Okay, here we go. Salvation awaits. Oh, if I was moving on, on his own. Why did we need a, a loading screen for that? Turning around and using your light is important. Growls are good, remember that. Okay. is uh, quite a significant loading screen now, as we admire that. As I really like how nostalgic that logo makes me. Oh. So it's not even a proper first person horror game. It's like a Five Nights at Freddy's, I mean I should have guessed from the Fraggles thing. But <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Right, how do I get the fucking flashlight on? I guess I should have looked at that tutorial thing. Um mute arrows, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it's basically they've done the Five Nights at Freddy's thing. But they've added a linear walking thing, almost like a Infinity Blade or the Dark Meadow, something like that, where I can move forwards, can't move backwards, but I can move forwards, and I can look when directed at a thing. Let's just belt it. Fuck all this looking in corners shit. That exit's right there. Did we, did we win or not? No. <laughs> the, the <f> <laughs> we got cuddled to death by the Ewok again. <laughs> okay, let's actually look at the tutorial, see what's going on. You are very wise. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this game is giving me genuine joy. Okay, come on, hurry up. Let's get this loading out the way. Right, proceed. All right, let's get moving. Move forward with W. Look at that, it's voiced. Press and hold A to look left. I was really into it. Press and hold A to look, okay, I'm gonna press and hold A. I've looked left. Mm. Press and hold D to look right. Okay, because this, this, they could be on like a, a, a boy chat hotline or something. Press and hold my D. Oh, I'll make you look left. Oh, by the way, you have a flashlight. Press space. space! Space! Sometimes you have to smack it, and it doesn't stay on. <laughs> hold my D. Sometimes you gotta smack it to keep it on. I'm loving this. Continue down the hallway. Oh, I'll continue down your hallway. Oh, yeah. It's 
boy chat. Oh yeah, one last thing. Press and hold Q. All right. This is your quick turnaround. Hmm. Seems useful. I'll give you a quick turnaround and then fuck you in the ass. <laughs> I was done with. I was done with the innuendo. Continue down the hallway. All right. Press F to open the door. Ah, that's what I did wrong. So it's F to open the door, and then space, space for a flashlight. Let's do this. Override our current save. Well, yeah, we, we've made no progress. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Looking forward to it. In a good mood today. Got to, uh... Gotta get this done quick though, because I've got to get the house tidy because we're doing a party tonight, because I'm reviewing Rock Band 4. So I need to bring some mates over. I'm gonna do some drink, gonna get the camera out, gonna do a squirty play using cam live action camera stuff. That'll be fun. I'm gonna put my Brian May wig on. There's no queen in the base package, but what can you do? So. I'll have that video up around review embargo time anyway. Right, proceed. Here we go. Smack it. Smack it. Yeah, that doesn't stay on very long at all. It is a shit flashlight. Right, we're gonna keep going with that tactic we had before. Because that worked out really well. Right, I've just gotta press F. Done it. Whoa, floor two. Okay, it's now fucking pitch black. What's going on? Heartbeat. What? Why? Oh yeah, keep your light on it. But I pressed space and the light didn't turn on. I, I, I swear down I pressed space and I was just about to sing the heartbeat theme tune. Why does my heartbeat Don't remember the lyrics to the Heartbeat song. Heartbeat, if you don't know, is a Sunday show. There we are. It worked this time. It was a show that used to air on Sunday on, I think, ITV. I'm hammering space, mate. Okay, then. Anyway, Heartbeat was set in the 60s. Uh, starred, I don't know, Nick something, Nick Berry or someone. Anyway, it was set in the 60s about, it was about a local police station and the adventures they'd have. And there was Greengrass, he was a farmer, always up to no good. And Jerome Flynn, I believe, was in it for a bit, who went on to play Bronn in um, um, Game of Thrones. Jerome Flynn, of course, was part of Robson and Jerome, uh, a... Uh, two-man musical act that did uh, uh, songs that made uh, knickers damp in the 90s. Uh, so that's a bit of English culture for you. Let's go on to the floor second. And then there were two, a familiar friend and someone new. Okay, so as, as, apart from Bargain Basement Ewok, we're going to deal with something else as well. What was it, a koala bear? Were we just been cuddled to death by a koala bear? I don't know. This game's hilarious. Game of the year, isn't it? Undertale ain't got shit on this. So what happens if we look down here? Will we actually stop a mon monster or something? Oh, okay. Sometimes I hit space and the, the torch doesn't go on. I suppose that's me banging it. I've got to button mash the fucking thing. I... The torch is so shit. <laughs> Monkey! <laughs> Monkey. Is that a monkey? I don't even know what that is. I don't get it. This is even more obtuse than Five Nights. It looked down. I suppose I was I, maybe I was meant to hit the flashlight to stop it from poking out. I don't even know. 
I don't know what you want from me at this point. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, so we we <laughs> Okay, so I'm almost getting it now. We're being pursued. We're being pursued by the bad Ewok. But the fiery from Labyrinth is also after us. <laughs> and, and sometimes that just happens. Um, unpredictably. <laughs> and that... I... <laughs> This is such bollocks. It's complete shite. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> complete gibberish. One, two, three, jump skit, whatever the fuck it was called. Fuck it off. <laughs> oh, see you later.